Hey. Hallelujah. If we close service by 6 p.m. today, wouldn't it be wonderful? Thank God that some people said it's wonderful. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, sir. If I'm not greeting you, it means I don't know you, but I'll get to know you. Thank you for choosing to fellowship with us. Hallelujah. Few announcements and I will bring the word. This coming Saturday and uh, Sunday. If you love to learn how to be a cinematographer, we're going to get it on a plot of gold. One of us is operating on that mountain. And he has indicated interest to train everyone who is willing to learn how to be a cinematographer as well as videographer. Can we celebrate God for that? You're not going to pay a dime. It's going to be done free of charge. So that answers the question they were asking me. So if you're son of the house and they train you free of charge by the church, so you also need to serve in the church. Can I hear you? Amen. 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 That's how we grow in this kingdom. So make yourself available. There is no job. There is no job. Come and learn now. Free of charge. If you learn how to do it, the skill is yours forever. Can I hear your amen? amen? He didn't say amen. Can I hear your amen? Amen. amen? amen simply means let it be so. Good to see you, ma. You came once and ran away. Good to see you again. All right. Good to see you. You see, I pay attention to everyone. One of the things my late mom taught me is that when you get to the platform, look around. You kill the stage flight. The first time I preached was age of seven. So she was training me. He said, when you get to the platform, look around. So from looking around, I observe those who are there and those who are not there. Hallelujah. Like your gold jewelry, it's looking amazing. When I grow up like you, I will have one. Amen. If you don't have gold jewelry, don't turn back. Look up. That's the problem of Africa, why there is traffic. You know where there is traffic in Africa? People are slowing down to investigate accident or trouble that they will not get out of their car to help and solve the problem. Just to report very well. Ah, at that urbanic corobosto, something happened there, that man. Ah, he was wearing red color. And then you create all kinds of uh, traffic. Amen? June 18, we are going to have what is called Kononia Experience. So, that evening, we're going to put, what time is that? 3 p.m. Can you help me with the mic? I'm hearing a lot of noise at the background. Thank you, sir. 3 p.m. June, that's the third Sunday of the month of June. Immediately after the service, you just have a rest, and then we're going to have a powerful time of worship tagged for an annual experience with our brother, Red Daniel, and all the teams that are going to worship with him that very day. So please set aside that very day so that we are going to have a very good time in God's presence. Can I hear you? Amen? Yeah. I assure you, if you are late, you will be outside. Yes, because the people are registering online. Those who have nothing to do with this local assembly, they are indicating interests that are going to be there. So if you are late, it would be nice enough to put shears, no, not canopy, shears outside. This time they will just be having shears. The sun will beat them a little bit. Next, Kononenia will now put canopy. Hallelujah. Get yourself ready to be here on time so that we praise God together. Amen? Is that fine? I just want to ask, I need your affirmation. Are we getting blessed with the Kingdom Business School? Is it impacting our life? Right. Can I tell you something? We have not started touching anything in Kingdom Business School. I'm checking the water level. 
The day I know you are serious, we begin to teach. And we're going to combine them with the practical section. But the practical section will be offline. So I teach theory. Those who are not here will gain from the theory. When I get to practical, I will go offline. If you are listening to me online and you are angry, sorry. That's the price to pay. Be on the site where the thing is happening. It took me years to learn how to do those things. So I won't drop it anyhow. Is that clear? In chemistry class, there is two parts of it, practical and theory. In business, there are two parts, practical and theory. And you see a woman that is frying her car, suddenly because you see that she's making money from frying her car, something is still wrong with my sound. Help me and sort it out, sir. And then you think because he's making money out of it, and then suddenly you want to go into a car business to make money. You just know that they grind blend beans together, they fly. You may not go far like that woman. There is something they know. They know when to put this. They know when to do that. They know how long the beans have to stay in water and the rest of them. Are you following what I'm saying? So, if you don't know, let those who know teach you and their life will become better. Can I hear your amen? Alright, let's go to part three of trailblazers and trendsetters. The power of being first. Part three. Holy Spirit, I receive strength to minister life to your people. Bless are your ear, you are going to hear. Bless are your heart, you are going to receive. Bless are your spirit, man, you are going to receive understanding. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, and people shout a living amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm a kingdom trailblazer. I am a kingdom trendsetter. I wish I can hear you better. I'm a kingdom trailblazer. I'm a kingdom trendsetter. Can I hear you talk to me? I'm a king you are saying it as if you are done mean it. I'm a kingdom trailblazer. No, no, no. You are not talking to me. Affirm it like you mean it. I'm a kingdom trailblazer. I'm a kingdom trendsetter. We create a pathway where there is no pathway. We lead where there is no leader. We shine where others don't shine. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. A brother has been making all the money from real estate and today he showed up. When you after service see me so that I will, I will get my portion of, of the money you are making from real estate. If you are not the brother, just look at pastor. Is the problem with Africa? I'm talking to a brother and everybody is just leave the brother. Look at me. Now I'm telling you so that those who are sitting near him will not finish the resources he brought for me. Why are you not in church? We are at the finishing touches of our project. That's what gives me joy. That's why I don't bring you here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I only bring you on Friday to come and say thank you, Jesus. And then on Sunday, you come by 7.30 and then 11, you're looking at your time. We should do service from 7 o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. Because we only show up only once a week. Friday only is half day. Amen? All right. You see, Koyo, the way you're looking at me, I don't know. Maybe by the time we are doing second thought services, some of you will be preaching. I will just be sitting down watching. Do you agree with me? When will it happen? Before this year is over. You don't believe me? Okay. Say once again, I create a pathway where there is no pathway. We show others how not to fail. Use your mouth. Use your mouth. That's why God gives to you. There are those who are begging that their mouth should say something. Now that you have it, use it. Say we show others how not to fail in life. Because our God has shown us how not to fail. Do you believe that? I am the first, I'm not the last. We are in a, a rapidly evolving world. To be static without continuous self-development is to end up a failure. 
We are in a world that is evolving speedily. What you know yesterday is obsolete now. And if you don't pay attention to develop yourself, over time you will discover you are just a follower. You are not a leader. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? If you must succeed in life, there must be a place where you lead. Pay attention. Son of God, what are you saying? Is it bad for me just to be a follower? It's not a bad. But if every aspect of your life, you are a follower, something is wrong with your destiny. There is a part where you are destined to lead. It is in that place that the gold and silver of this world will respond to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you following? No, you're not. See, I hear. I want you to take a look at the introduction I read from a book, the book that I just read recently. I want to read out the opening statement in the introduction of that book. The first edition of this book was written on a typewriter. We delivered a type manuscript to the publisher. We wrote the second edition on computer and delivered a printed manuscript. This edition was written on a computer and emailed no manuscript, not even disk at all. So between the first edition, second edition, and third edition, Rapid changes are taking place. First one was done by what? You are not talking to me. First one was done by what? Open your mouth and talk. First one was done by what? All right. How many of us went to university? There was once a time that if you want to write project, you depend on those wonderful women and men who use their typewriter, baka baka, baka baka, baka baka, to type our thesis. You remember them? Are you following what I'm saying? And after some time, I discover that those wonderful women are out of business. It was not Satan that was against them. It was not their evil uncle that is against them. Are you following what I'm saying? Because you are trying to believe that any backwardness is as a result of demon. Somebody is not following. Are you following me? Do you know what was against them? Technology was moving with a speed that they cannot catch up with. Out of them, there were individuals who could migrate and begin to use computer. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, once upon a time, there was school that was booming those days. They are called commercial schools. Where they teach people how to do shorthand and they, you can't beat them when it comes to those. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Am I teaching to people who are not in Africa? Am I making sense? And technology came. All the anointing or their pastor want to pour on their head could not help them. The day you stop learning to catch up with evolving situation of our society, you will litter. I'm using some heavy weights. Please forgive me, but that's the only way to communicate it so that you can wake up. Let me ask a very casual question. This is June. If you have read a book, a new book, to help to add to knowledge in your life from January to June, let me see your hand. You have read a book. One, no teachers bring down your, your, your business is to read book. I don't want teachers. Those who are not in teaching business. Any other person? Right? Thank you. Thank you. You have read? Okay. Number two. Right. You have read? Number three. If you have read, really raise your hand. Let me see. Those, even if you're a teacher, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
six. All the people who raise their hand that they have read book after the service, see me. I will give you a special gift. Those who don't know how to read. No, no, no. Everyone who is raising his hand after now, he didn't read any book. He didn't read any book. Now, let me ask a general question so that you will see how we operate in Africa. From January till now, if you have been eating every day, let me see your hand up. Ah. Uh -uh. You say you eat every day. Let me see your hand off. Every day. You people are not fasting. Wow. Wow. Jesus is exposing a lot of people. You eat every day. And your hand is off. <laughs> oh, this is my story. This is my son. No, don't, don't help them with keyboard. I thought they are fasting when I'm fasting. I didn't know that all of them are just eating, enjoying themselves. Hallelujah. I wanted to say something, but they would tell me not to say it. Hallelujah. The way food helps the body to sustain itself, that is also the way books help the mind and the brain to be sure. There are places you can go. There are men you can assess. But what they have done in life, they are kind enough to put them in book. So you meet them on the pages of book, they are kind enough to write it there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm saying this because they say you want to be a train blazers, you want to be train setters. If you don't study, if you don't show yourself, approve a right one that rightly divide the word of truth, you won't go far. Are you following what I'm saying? I gave this illustration that one individual who wrote a book between the first edition and third edition, things have changed. Many of the things we blame Satan that is the one that is against us to be king in a mountain has nothing to do with Satan. He has everything to do with our life. Are you hearing me? I'm taking it cool today. By 11.30 I'll be through. So... Don't just bother. To wait for others to lead without you getting involved in the name of avoiding pitfalls will eventually lead you to pitfalls. Are you paying attention? If you are writing, I'm just giving an introduction. To wait for others to do what? To read. Without you getting involved because you are scared you are trying to make sure that you avoid pitfall. We eventually lead you to what? Pitfall. Untested vessel will never be a king in any mountain of influence. Untested vessel will never be a king in any mountain of what? Influence. Are you paying attention? Captains are not made at the shore. Great captains. They are made in the center of the storms of the sea. That's where greatness emerges. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Untested vessel will never wear the crown of victory. Somebody following me? Are you here? Pay attention. There are people, why are you not working hard? You say, look, I'm being careful. I don't want to enter into pitfall. Uh, if you don't know how to take risk, those who know how to take risk will lead you. If you want to be a trendsetter. You must lead from the front. There is a king, his name is David. The Bible says that when leaders were in the battle, when kings went to battle, he was at home. Instead of leading from the front, he was leading from behind. And why others are busy at the forefront of the battle, gaining victory and advancing, he stepped up on the balcony to begin to see what he ought not to see. And before you know what is happening, he saw some beautiful dancer that he ought not to see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If David was in the forefront of the battle, he will not see that woman. The day you stop leading from the front, you will begin to see what you are not destined to see. To wait for others to lead without you getting involved in the name of avoiding pitfall will eventually lead you to what? Pitfall. 
Idleness is not part of success equation. Getting involved, especially aspiring to lead from the front, is the core equation if you are going to succeed in life. I will take that again. Idleness is not part of success equation. Getting involved, especially leading from the front, gives us opportunity to develop ourselves and deploy our faith for action. Anytime I see individuals who are in the idle state without doing something, I see a man or a woman who have accepted defeat as destination of his life. Anytime I see individuals who are so idle static, they are not doing anything, I summarize such individuals as individuals who have accepted what? Defeat. We call it defeatism. Their mind is in autopilot that, look, I have failed. Let me just be a failure till I die. Somebody say minus me. Okay, you're not talking. Somebody say minus me. Are you here? You have no business being idle in life. If you must be a trendsetter. Trendsetters are busy looking for pathway where there is no one. The day you tell them there is no pathway here, they will tell you, no, you are not seeing well. What we are seeing, you are not seeing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a brother in this kingdom. His name is R.W. Returner. Those days, they have to use shovel and digger to do all kinds of eight moving things to create things and do pathway. He was a Sunday school teacher in church. And God began to give him ideas. He was one of the founding father of eight moving machines, caterpillars, and all the rest of them. And so when they say there is no pathway here where there is rock, he will look at them and laugh. He said there is a pathway that only that your eyes are not seeing it. They will deploy equipment. They will create a pathway there. And then roads We go through the rocks and vehicles are passing through there. What rocks have they shown you in life? What hurdles are you facing now that you have said there is no pathway because you see a wall. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is no wall anywhere. The only wall that you can see is the wall that is in your mind. You are not a failure because they say you are a failure. You are a failure because you accept that you are a failure. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Do you know families that we call royal families today, they were not originally royal families. Something made them to become royal family. And as far as this kingdom is concerned, you are a royal priesthood. I, 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 are you hearing what I'm saying? You are what? I cannot hear you. You are what? Talk to me. You are what? The background where you come from is not the penultimate definition of your destination in life. Ask those in cinematography, they can bring somebody who is very ugly to look amazing. That's why I told you one day here when I'm preaching, say, if you want to marry, make sure you go to that girl's house early in the morning by 6.30 when there is no makeup so that you'll be sure the product you want to invest on. Okay. This is just for young people. Married men, what you have gotten is yours forever. You cannot quit. You cannot resign. Stay there till Jesus comes. Can I hear your amen? <laughs> if you ask the media director, there is one statement I, I used to tell him in, in recent times. Satan is different. The way they draw Satan on a piece of paper is not the way Satan is in real life. Your, your picture, your imagination of Satan is the reason why you meet Satan every day and you have lunch and breakfast and dinner without knowing. You know, when we are growing up, they told us that Satan have one big horn, this one, this way, this way. No, no, no. Satan wears suits these days. They speak in tongues. They wear, they wear, they wear powerful suits. They wear coats, not suits. They should be coats. We wear suits, they wear coats. 
Before you say one or two, they know that people are tired of coming to the bush to come and see native doctors. So they need to wear coat and operate on day that day time. Before you say Jack Robinson, say, oh, 51 people need to fast and pray around you. You need 21 people. We go on top of the mountain to pray. Only on top of mountain. That's where Jesus answers prayer. He doesn't answer in your bedroom. I doubt which Jesus is that. Are you following what I'm saying? The remaining idols stayed without doing something in a signal that you have accepted defeat. When someone will say, I've been in idol mood for so long a time in my life, do I have a chance of survival? Tell your neighbor there is a chance for you. I can't hear you. There is an opportunity for you. You know, when I was writing this page, I was looking for some things that you can relate to it. And then I discovered in the field of agriculture, the more you allow a land to lie fallow for too long, the better for that crop that is planted on that soil to produce more fruit. Are you following what I'm saying? Because all kinds of nutrients are being deposited there. Are you following what I'm saying? Help me announce to someone with, beside you, there are great potentials within you. I can't hear you. There are great potentials within you. Yet untapped. You may not know it. But God knows it. Even the enemy knows it. That's why you are facing a lot of battle. Because the day you realize the potential that you carry, you will laugh at your enemy. I am a man. I am a woman of great potential. I am not here as a biological accident. By the time God is through with me, those who look down on me will look up to me. If you believe, let me hear your amen. amen. Say with me, I'm created to produce result that has not been done, that has not been experienced. That's why I'm a barrier breaker in my family. I will be the first to produce result that my contemporary has not produced. Can I hear your better amen? amen? Any day you make up your mind to become a trailblazer and a trendsetter, there will be vehement opposition from the pit of hell against you. Because the one who put barriers wants you to remain in that state forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, people love people, for instance, in a place where everybody has failed, and suddenly you want to rise to be a successful person. It's abnormal to those and demonic spirit that controls that territory. They want everyone to fail the way they have failed. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Suddenly they see you drive car and say, so you have money to buy car. Have you ever heard that statement from people? So you can afford that car. So you can do that. So in their mind, they expected that you belong to their school. And suddenly you graduate out of their school. It becomes a trouble. This one that I thought that is in the same school of poverty with me, and suddenly you are rising out to break out of that school. Tell your neighbor, I have no carryover in my life anymore. Okay, if you have a carryover, close your mouth. I have no carryover in my life anymore. I am breaking out. I am breaking out. Can I hear your brother? Amen. In a city filled with mentally conquered people, it is a taboo to dare to be different. In a territory filled with mentally conquered people, it is a taboo for you to rise to dare to be different. Because the demonic spirit that put everyone bound in that territory will not like you to step out of that barrier that have put people. Are you following me at all? I call it mentally drained people operating under the influence of crap ideology. No one will rise. Let us all be here. Are you following what I'm saying? 
everyone will just say, who cares? Let's just be who we are. In the school of darkness, the most common effective raw material is light. And the day you begin to declare that you carry light, those who operate in darkness will say, what is this person doing in that territory? Say with the amount, my generation will be different. Give me Genesis chapter 5. Let me start teaching. I was just laying background to get your spirit. I will show you family tree of people who are nobody from generation to generation. I will show you men who are nothing but span donors. They are not adding value at all in life. Their job is to, okay, let's the Bible interpret it. Say Genesis chapter 5. From verse 1, sir. This is the book of genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man. Who created man? He made him in his what? In the likeness of what? The original blueprint is that I must look like God. I shall say with your mouth, I must. You are not talking. Say with your mouth, I must. No, you are not talking. Say, I must. Look like God that I serve. If my God is, is my God is successful, I should be successful. Your yeah, God is not a failure. So I should not be a failure. Affirm it strongly. I must look like God I serve. You are not talking to me. You are talking to yourself. Say it one more time. I must look like God I serve. Please say something with your mouth. I must look like God I serve. Others may fail. I cannot fail. Because of destiny. Say it strongly. I must look like God I serve. My children must look like God I serve. My wife must look like God I serve. My husband will look like God I serve. My business will look like God I serve. I must look like God I serve. Say it three times. I shout a loud amen. Finally, stand on your feet. We are going to pray it in the next two minutes. In the name of Jesus, from this day henceforth, I must look like God that I serve. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Come on, open your mouth. I shall look like God I serve. I shall look like God that I serve. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are not praying the way I want it. I must look like God that I serve. I must look like God that I serve. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I must look like God that I serve. I must look like God that I serve. In the name of Jesus, I must look like God that I serve. Pray that prayer. The works of my hand will represent, will reflect the God I serve. That business, that career, I must look like God that I serve in the name of Jesus. I must look like God I serve. I must look like God that I serve. Talk to your friend, talk to your neighbor, declare to them, prophesy over them in the name of Jesus. I must look like God that I serve. I must look like God I serve. I must look like God I serve. In Jesus' mighty name, my people shout the loudest amen. amen. Say it to the mountain top. I will look like God I serve. I will look like God I serve. I will look like God I serve. Can I hear your better amen? amen? So you agree with me from this day henceforth. No traces of failure shall be recorded in your life. Okay, let me talk to people in this place. From this day henceforth, no traces of failure shall be recorded in your life. I wish I can hear you better. From this day henceforth, no traces of failure in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Good to see you, sir. Ah, all the way from Canada. God bless you, sir. Bless you, sir. Good to see you. See you. I must look like God that I serve. Today is a set-up day. If I know you are coming, I would have asked you to preach and I will enjoy myself to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Are you here? Just be seated. You know, something give you encouragement. When you are seeing your old friend coming around to share you up in things you are doing, really, really appreciate it. Can we celebrate my friend for coming? Thank you, sir. Appreciate. Appreciate. Genesis chapter 5, verse 2. Let's read down. He created the male and female and blessed them and called them what? Mankind in the day they were what? Created. Next verse. And Adam lived 100. Let's watch the story of these people. Adam lived what? 130 years and begot a son in his what? Let's go back to verse 2. You see how standards are beginning to reduce. Verse 1, sir. He made him in, his, in the likeness of what? He made him in the likeness of what? Go back to verse 3. Adam lived 100 years. Begot a son in his own what? Not in the likeness of God anymore. Standard is dropping. After his image. And named him what? Seth. Next verse. And after he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years. And he had what? He had what? Okay. Next verse. So all the days of Adam lived were 930 years. And he did what? Any other story about him? Alright. Next verse. Let's see another person's story. Seth lived 105 years and begot what? Enoch. Next verse. And after he begot Enoch, Seth lived 800 years, had what? I can't hear you. Had what? What else about his destiny? Next verse. And so all these days of Seth were 912 years, and he did what? Are you following the pattern of their family story? Get married, give birth to children, die. Next verse. Enoch lived 90 years. He beget what? I can't hear you. He beget what? And did what? Enos lived 850 years and had sons and what? Daughters. Next verse. And so all the days of Enos were 905 years and what happened again? Okay. Is that your story? We are not saying it. Is that your story? Then and lived 70 years and beget Maharel, whatever the name is. After he beget what? Another person. And Ken and lived 840 years, had songs and what? Are you following? And so all the days of Ken and Ken were what? 910 years. And what happened again? Somebody is writing his story. This one again lived 65 years and he begot what? Jared. Next verse. What happened? And after Jared, he lived 839, 30 years and had sons and daughters. And what happened again? I can't hear you. He did what? Next verse. Jared lived 100 years again and 62 years and beget what? Talk to me. And beget what? Maybe something will change. And then Jared lived 800 years, had sons and what? Talk to me. Has sons and what? And so all the days of Gerard were 962 years and he did what? Nobody say minus me. Enos lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. Next verse. And after he begot Methuselah, Enoch. Story changed. Are you following what I'm saying? This one decided to become a trendsetter. He decided to become what? A trailblazer. A beget Methuselah. He not work with God 300 years. He had songs and what? I can't hear you. He had songs and what? So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Are you following? Next verse. Enoch worked with God. He was not for God did what? Took him. He can't fit in into that system. He was a trailblazer. Bam! He was sucked out of that system. Are you here? What do you want to be in your life? Get married, give birth to children and die. Nothing about you or to be like Enoch. Is somebody following me at all? Ask your neighbor, what do you want to be? Give me Luke chapter 157. 
I would have 54 and 57. Luke chapter 1, 57. I will focus on this and then see how I will tie it up today. I will stop in verse 66. Pay attention. Elizabeth was, Elizabeth full time came for her to do what? To be delivered and she brought forth a son. Next verse. When her neighbors and relatives heard how God has shown, has shown great mercy to her, they do what? May you experience sound of rejoicing in your home this week. Let me give you the background before I read. I continue reading. She was trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. The Bible says when they were in the place of service, the angel of the Lord came and announced. Are you following? Right. So let's continue. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord has shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. Next verse. So it was on the eighth day. Somebody say eighth day. I want you to mark your Bible eight day because I'm going to focus and build on this eight day this morning. That they came to circumcise the child and they will have called him by the name. By what? I can't hear you. They would have called him by the name of his what? Zachary. So in every family, in this family, the moment you are a male child, you will call what? Zachary. They would have called him by the name of his what? I can't hear you. They will call him by the name of his what? Let me explain it in a way you understand it in English. If they call you by the name of your father, if your father is a failure, they will call you a failure. If your father is successful, they will call you successful. If your father is a Panwan Tapa, you will be referred to the son of a Panwan Tapa. Is it not the way they do it? Are you following what I'm saying? So if your father dies of cancer, doctors will tell you there is a cancer that is running in your blood. Are you following what I'm saying? One day I went to a doctor in Malaysia and then he was asking questions. He said, is people in your family suffering from this? I said, look, our family don't have generational sickness. If he runs in your family, it's a different ballgame. But in our family, we don't have generational sickness. We transfer from one person to the other. He was looking at me. I said, yes, I serve a God that is different from your God. But that doesn't mean that what they are saying is not true. It can be true for some. But it may not be true for all. There is two things I do tell people. Facts and truth are different things. Fact, there is sickness in your body. Truth, by the strife of Jesus, is not there. He decided the one he wants to take. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called what? Can I see this verse 16 in KJV? Because there is something I want to pick up from there that is very important. KJV. His mother answered and said, not so. Somebody tell me not so. Help me tell your neighbor not so. But he shall be called what? Are you following what I'm saying? Everybody in that family is being labeled Zachariah. But he came to the day that his journey of life will begin. He said, not so. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right. His mother answered and said, no, he shall be called John. Next verse. But they said to her, let's read together. One, two, three, go. Stop there. Just keep it on the screen. One, two, three, go, everyone. I can't hear you. One, two, three, go. Read that with understanding one more time. Do you understand that statement? Everybody in your family must, this is the highest level they can go in life. How dare you aspire to be a trendsetter? Nobody in your family has gone by that name. Who told you we answered John? The mother said, not so. I carried this baby in my womb for nine months. I know what I received from the Lord. I know the battle that it took me to nurse this child for nine months. You will not label this child what God has not called this child. You are not hearing what I am saying. 
There are so many of you that right before your eyes, they are calling your blessing what God did not call it. They are calling your children what God did not call them. And you are very comfortable about them. You say with me, I will not label my children what God did not label them. I will not label my destiny what God did not label it. You are not talking to me. I will not label my destiny what Jehovah did not label it. You have no right to call me what Jehovah did not call me. I can't hear you tell your neighbor, you have no right to call me what God did not call me. You have no right to call my business what Jehovah did not call it. My life is different. My case is different. Can I hear you better? Amen. Let me talk to you a little bit, whether you will understand or not. The eight day represents the number of new beginnings. The eighth day of our life is the most critical and sensitive day of our destiny. If we fail to enforce the kingdom agenda for our destiny and buckle to the ideology of people, you will never end the trailblazer. It was on the eighth day they showed up. And they said, what will the child be called? He said, let's call him Zachariah the way every other person is called. The mother said, no. This one is not going to be called Zachariah. This one is stepping out of the order of the family. What killed my father will not kill me. The day my father dies is not the day I will die. If my father did not make it to the finishing line, I will make it to the finishing line. Somebody said to me, my case is different. Okay, you didn't talk to me. Let me talk to people in this. Side. My case is different. My case is different. <laughs> money failed in Egypt, but there are places where money didn't fail. Uh, there was power failure in Egypt, but there was a place where there is light. It is called Goshen. Say with your mouth, my case is different. <laughs> my destiny is intertwined with Jehovah. What destroy others will not destroy me. He said, Pastor, is it possible? Yes. It was the same water that was destroying everything on earth that was raw material to leave the ark of Noah. He said, economy of Nigeria is bad. Yes, very true, it's bad. It's affecting every other person, but your case is different. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my... Are you following what I'm saying? The righteous, they shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of what? Rivers of living waters that per time, every time there is a provision before the need. The last time you begged was yesterday. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said the last time you begged was yesterday. We are coming into a new order in God in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it, my case is different. And let me say this quietly. The argument is no one in the family bears this name woman. Our family is called by Zachariah. And we are coming with a new name. The system of Babylon is not in a haste to call you whatever called you. Today we must rise to say not so. You're going to rise up with me in prayer. Every long label I've carried expire in the name of Jesus. Whatever that you have said yes to, that heaven is not saying yes to, open your mouth in the next two minutes and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I tear off every long label that I've carried in the name of Jesus. Whatever that I've carried that is not of Jehovah, I declare today enough is enough. Open your mouth and talk to your God. We tear down that label that we have carried that is not of Jehovah. Let me hear you talk to your father. The system of Babylon is not in a haste to call you what heaven called you. You must know what to call yourself. You are a trailblazer. Your case is different. The mother said, Not so. I know what God called. I carried this child for nine months. I know what heaven said about this child. She screamed, Not so. This pregnancy is for a new order. I'm not going to recycle an old order. Talk to your father. Come and open your mouth and talk to your father. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. 
Yakada Brusha Takepado, Eka Padusha Takepado, Ziga da Brado, Masha Kataparato, Eke Padusha Takepado, Masha Kataparato, Tepado, Masha Kataparato, Tepado, Eke Parato, Tepado, Masha Kataparato, Eke Padusha Takepado, Masha Kataparato, Eke Padusha Takepado. Makataparo. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm able to shout a living amen. amen. Sit down, you are still talking. Everyone that you have seen that made great impacts on planet Earth, they are stubborn to receive the verdict of enemy over their life. Are you here? Let me read the next verse there. Give me verse 62. There is no one in your relative that comes by that name. So they make sign. They didn't even believe the woman. You know they didn't believe the woman. They make sign to the father. What do you have him call? Next verse. And he asked for a writing tablet. I wrote saying. His name is John. So they were marveled. Because they would have shut the mouth of the father. Because the father is the person who could have aborted the new cycle and new order that God wants to bring in the family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are so many people that are deaf and dumb not because Jesus wanted them to be deaf and dumb. They are deaf and dumb because if their mouth is open, they will destroy the destiny of the family. You're not hearing what I'm saying. There are people that are stranded. They are not stranded because everyone wanted to be stranded. They are stranded so that they will be in a place where they will find God. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some prayers you are praying that heaven will not answer. There are frustrations by divine order. Oh, you don't know? Who oh, will pray Joseph out of Egypt? Which pastor? If you like, bring a gallon of oil and pour on He said, the more you pour oil, the more he goes to Egypt. And he has to get to prison because he has to change his identity in prison. You are not hearing what I'm saying? The more they pray for Joseph not to go to prison, the more God makes way for him to get to prison. Because he has to be in prison for the king to demand for him and his identity will change. If he stays in the house of Potiphar, he will, no long, he will not be a prime minister. Because he will remain in a state of being a slave forever. It is a, in prison that he becomes a subject of the state. And the prince, the, 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 the prime minister will demand for him the king will demand for him and grant him a state pardon. He become a bona fide citizen of the state. And the rest is history. What are you praying against that God is preparing the way for you to get to there? You are not hearing what I'm saying. A part of your greatness may not be obvious to you, but God knows what he's doing. Anytime you don't see finger of God visibly, keep your mouth shut. There is invisible finger behind the scene that is writing codes about your greatness. Go! You may not see, but trust God, He's writing something behind the scene. Am I talking to somebody? Your eyes is the word is confusing you. You are too familiar with sin. If it's not obvious to you, then God is not acting. Go and check from Ruth chapter 1 to the last chapter of Ruth. You wouldn't hear one time the name of Jehovah was mentioned here. Yet he was walking behind the scene. Go and check the book of Esther. Yet he was walking behind the scene. If you can't trust God, trust Him. I can I say this with every courage and boldness and grace of God upon my life. I don't sense any human being under the sound of my voice here who is created to fail in life. Okay. You know our problem? We assume our bus stop is our destination. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You assume your bus stop is your destination. No, bus stop are not destination. The problem is that you don't know where you're going. That's why every bus stop you want to stop. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where you're going is different from where they're going. So focus. Say with me, where I'm going is different from where they're going. That's why Joseph did not eat that meal that was offered in Potiphar's house. We are talking about trailblazers. Joseph was the first trailblazer that made the, fa the Potiphar's wife mad. You know what it means for the wife of a five-star general to offer herself to you for a night, one night stand. And you look at the five-star general and say, 
where we come from we don't eat these sheep sets how can I do this wickedness against God I'm a trailblazer I came here God sent me here from assignment I will not be distracted from the assignment just to sleep with you one night and the whole destiny of my family will be wasted if Joseph had slept with that guy every Israelite could have ended up in hunger all generation wiped away but he said no this food is not a food I eat there are some food that you must not touch they may come sheep we don't touch it Joseph was the first trailblazer who refused. You know why the wife was angry? Every slave that buff, he have used them for sheep sex when the guy is not around. And Joseph came and said, no, you must lie with me. He said, Joseph said, no, 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 no. We don't eat this kind of food. We don't eat it. She was mad. But <laughs> All things work together for good. The woman that was mad did not know that he was playing in the hands of Jehovah. Let me announce to you, whatever the enemy is doing against your life, your business, your destiny, they are playing into the hands of Jehovah. It shall turn around for your own good. I say it's turning around for your own good. If you believe, let me hear your glorious amen. What is it they told you that this is the way that is opposite of what you receive from the Lord? I live my life this way. I want you to live this way. If subsequent picture you are bringing to me is opposite of original blueprint I received from Jehovah, ask my darling wife, you are talking trash. As long as I had Jehovah, he said, this is the way. And I check in my spirit, this is the way. And you come and say, God says, I should not follow this way. You are your own. You know why? Everything on earth may pass away, but his word will stand. Except I didn't hear him. Are you here? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You know your problem. You believe the report of men so much than the report of Jehovah. Because the highly place, you believe them more than you believe your God. Some hidden truth you receive from Jehovah in your secret place, and somebody showed up with us. No, but one minute you believe the person more than what you receive from Jehovah behind the scene. Are you okay? He's an arrow to confuse his voice with voice of men. He's an arrow. You can't be a train setter. You know why till today we still read that Joseph, David, is the one who took down Goliath. Eh? Because he didn't listen to the voice of men. You know his brothers told him, what are you doing here, you charlatan? You have come here again as you used to come. Little floor, come and get away from here. Eh, he told his brother, say, you don't know what you're talking about. He who dwell in the midst of the cherubim shine forth he who dwells in the midst of the cherubim shine forth say you dwell you dwell he who dwells in the midst of the cherubim shine forth say he dwell he who dwell he who dwells in the midst of the cherubim Shine forth. Everything about the destiny of John the Baptist is coded in that name. The day of ordination and coronation of that name, there was opposing forces from the family. We are reduced to Zacharias, and you want to step out of this region? No way. You will answer it. Please pay attention. Do you notice at that level that a young boy do not have capacity to speak and defend himself? Please pay attention. I'm talking to fathers and mothers. At that level, John do not have what it takes to defend his destiny. God is trusting that the father and the mother will understand that the destiny of this child must be protected with every strength they carry. Yet, you fail in defending the destiny of your child. 
And tomorrow, when they begin to fail, tomorrow you begin to cry. Say, God, what did you give me? You are the one who failed in the coronation service. The mother said, no. I carried this boy in the womb for nine months. When he was in the womb, the angel of the Lord was talking to me, left, right, and center. I know what I received. He won't cause, he won't be caused a cry. You know, to cut the story short. The father had to go deaf and dumb because he wanted to argue with the Holy Spirit. Do you know why things about your life are static? You are arguing with your creator. Okay. Can I say it in English? The reason why your destiny is that still, business is not moving forward. Every spiritual instruction is given you. You have not done it. You are arguing with him. Do you know if God say, give me 1,000 now? He said, God, you are not talking to me. Let me get home and check. By the time you get home, you then decided that God is talking to you. And then you come next Sunday to give 1,000. You didn't obey God. It is a rebellion. When you obey God in your own time, it is not God you obeyed. You obeyed yourself. I just use money to illustration. I'm not raising offering today. So don't be afraid. Nobody is raising offering. I'm raising you. The woman said, no. Nine months, I carried this womb. Carried this baby in my womb. I know what Jehovah told me. Every other person in our family can go by the name of Zachariah. But this one, hmm, it won't be called Zachariah. This one is going to be called John. Do you know the family people they didn't believe him? They went to the father. What will this child be called? If you are the father, who used to talk anyhow? That said, God has closed your mouth. And they said, please give me paper. The miracle of my mouth <laughs> bouncing back again is in integrity of establishing the truth I've received from Jehovah. Clearly, he wrote John. By the time they wrote John, the last line, look at that screen, verse 63. So they all marveled. They all marveled. They all marveled. They all marveled. They all marveled what is coming your way the capacity of the goodness of jehovah that is about to hit you this week many will marvel in the name of jesus christ tell your neighbor i'm coming i'm coming soon i can hear you tell somebody beside you i'm coming soon 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 can i hear you better amen there are so many who could have been kings and queen, but they are not because they accepted what the society is calling them. I've accepted. Help me talk to your neighbor. If you need to scream for him to hear, say failure, not so. Poverty, not so. Sickness, not so. Uh, negative verdict of doctors, not so. Whatever that is troubling your mind, just declare not so, not so, not so, not so, no, not so, not so. Delay in marriage, not so. Whatever that is tormenting you, I want you to declare not so. Can I hear your brother? Amen. There is a place that is very important for you to be a trailblazer. Very, very important. And I want you to make sure that you become a trailblazer in this area the bible says seek god's kingdom and his righteousness if you become first in all and last in this kingdom you are truly last in life if your desire is to accumulate wealth that is not rooted in god please have everything are you hearing what i'm saying in all your pursuit in life god first god first god first and god first if the lord becomes the epicenter of your life if god becomes the epicenter of your destiny i assure you you will reign we are others fell in life stand on your feet we honor you in the next two minutes Lion i want you to pray Judah. and challenge every old order oh, that is 
affecting your family affecting your business whatever that they have told you that this is the way and you know it is not so rise today and say not so in the name of jesus sickness not so in the name of jesus arthritis not so in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lion of Judah. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, oh, oh. The destiny of John the Baptist could have mixed up if he have accepted the norm. Not so in the name of Jesus. I am going beyond bounds. In the name of Jesus. I am going beyond measure. Not so, not so, not so. Oh, 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 oh. Not so. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth. Just pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Not so. Not so. Lion of Judah. Whose reports are you believe? Oh. It is only the report of God that stands. Lamb of God. We honor you. Talk to your father. We honor you. Talk to your father. Lion of Judah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Lamb of God. When they see me, they see Jesus. When men see me. When men see me, they'll see Jesus. See my life. Don't no see Jesus in my life. Open your mouth and sing that song. Jesus, when men see me, everyone, oh, when men see me, they will see Jesus. They will see Jesus. They will see Jesus in my life. They will see Jesus. When men see me, God, oh, when men see me, oh, when men see me, they will see. Jesus in my life. See Jesus in my life. When men see me, God. When men see me. When men see me. When men see me. They see Jesus in my life. They see Jesus in my life. Do you know the day Noah came and was telling them that the Lord asked him to build an ark? Everyone in that generation, we are laughing at him. He say, "How can you talk about an ark?" And you know the funny thing, act, 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 the funny thing about it. At that time, there is no rain, there is no flood, so people will look at him as somebody who is abnormal. I want to end today's teaching with this: If you are going to be a trailblazer, if you are going to be a trailblazer, you will look like someone who is abnormal. They will think you are mad. They tell them that you are mad for God. I want you to make up your mind to be first in all in life. First in serving God. First in loving God. First in making sure there is peace in your home. First is loving your, 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 your family as yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be the first in the good. Don't be the first in the evil. In school, be the first to spread the good news of Jesus. Be first. Be first. Be first. Be first. And be first. And be first. And be first. As we sing that song again, I want you to affirm what you have heard within see yourself. In when my men life. see me, want to go? Don't see Jesus in my life. See Jesus in my life, everybody. When men see me, when men see me, only you the matter. When men see me, see Jesus in my life.
the seed Jesus in my life. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Oh, oh, yeah, when they see me, when they see me, oh, when they see me, the seed Jesus in my life. the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Stretch forth your hands and begin to pray for the man of God. Vessel has gone out of him. Pray for him. Ask God to empower him. Ask God to fill him up. Ask God for more grace and for more wisdom upon his life. More oil, more unction to function. Pray for the servant of God, the vessel that God has used to speak to us this afternoon. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we present your servant before you this afternoon. We ask for more grace upon his life, more oil upon his life in the name of Jesus. Fill him up, empower him to proclaim your truth always. Shall continue to spread your gospel, shall continue to speak the truth in the name of Jesus. Saturate his tongue. The word of God that comes out of his mouth shall not fail till Shiloh comes. The hand of God shall protect him. The hand of God shall preserve him. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will empower him. He will finish strong. The nation shall come to him. And he shall be a voice in this nation. And the, man, the, the, the power of God shall be upon his life. All that concerns him is blessed. The hand of God shall protect and preserve him and preserve all that concerns him. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Bring out your tithes, bring out your offering, bring out your seed, whatever you have come to honor God with this afternoon. Lord, we present our offering, we present our tithe to you as a sweet smelling sacrifice. Use it for your kingdom, use it for your glory, and bless the works of our hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Everybody say, You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are the most high God. 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 
à Jesus. Please, you can be comfortably seated. If today is your first time of worshiping with us, if this Sunday is your first Sunday of worshiping with the Fire Heaven Kingdom Center, kindly rise on your feet and let's welcome you in a very special way. If today is your first time of worshiping with us, fellowshipping with us, please rise on your feet and let's welcome you in a very special way. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Say you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Everybody say, we can see all over you. The glory, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are, you are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see you. We can see all over you. The glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to the Fair Heaven Kingdom Center. This is the Fair Heaven Kingdom Center where we preach the message of kingdom wealth and prosperity. Everyone has his own message, but our message is kingdom wealth and prosperity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where God changes stories, where God turns life around, as you step your foot, where God will turn your life around and change your story for the good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In this place, we run three programs, first, second, and third Fridays, we have our divine exchange. First, second, and third Friday is our divine exchange. It starts from 5 p.m. and ends by 7 p.m. And every last Friday, we have our destiny night. Some people call it night visual, but we call it destiny night. Every last Friday. It starts from 10 and ends by 5 a.m. in the morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And today, every Sunday, we have our Sunday celebration service. We start from 7.30 with opening prayers. Then by 8 o'clock, we have what we call Kingdom Business School. I'm sure you witnessed today's Zoom. Are you here in the mood this morning? Oh, you missed it. It was glorious. Kingdom Business School, where we talk about businesses and finances from 8 to 9. And then from 9, service starts proper. Did you enjoy today's service? I'm sure you were all blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, let's stand up, stretch forth your hands, and begin to pray for them. Ask God to give them their first time miracle, first time testimony. As God has brought, and brought their feet here, they will not go back the same. Pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present your children before you. King of glory, as their faces are different, so is their problem. Touch them at the point of their knees. Leave their burdens, oh Lord. Whatever it is that is the problem that brought them to you uh, to you this Sunday afternoon. But I will ask you to leave that burden in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them first time testimonies, first time miracles as they are living here. They are living with blessings. They are living with healings. They are living with deliverance. They are living with testimonies. Let your faith shine upon their life upon their business, upon their families. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Please don't be in a hurry to go. After the service, you have five, ten minutes with the man of God where he will speak to you and pray for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the form will be given to you. Please fill and return back accordingly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Help me tell someone close to you. I have made up my mind. I will be a trendsetter. Do you believe it? But I won't see you in recent time. So please come take microphone and greet the church. 
you fly away to Canada. I don't know when I'm going to see you again. So come and greet the church. Good morning, church. It's a pleasure and a honor to be here this morning, basically anyway, because uh, I've been following online. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I was um, chatting with Pastor earlier last week, I didn't tell him I was coming. I knew I was coming. I wanted to just come and let it be a surprise. I thank God for what God is doing here. Uh, amazing what God is doing. And um, you have not seen the best yet. Amen. You Amen. You have not seen the best yet. There are still things ahead of you that God is indeed doing. Amen. Um, let me just leave a word with you. You dropped my spirit while we were singing, while we were worshiping. Jesus spoke three parables in Luke chapter 15. Was the parable of the lost sheep. Then the second parable was the parable of the lost son. The third parable was the parable of the one we call the prodigal son. But the one that resonated with me was the middle one, the parable of the lost coin. He says there was something different about that parable. And we interpret it as going to evangelize the lost going to preach to those who are outside. But I saw it differently recently. And you know, as we're singing, as we're singing, there is no shadow, shadow. is not going to light up. There is no wall, is not going to break down. That scripture came back to me. Remember that scripture where they wanted to tempt Jesus. And then they said to him that, is it lawful for us to pay taxes? And what was his response? Give me a coin. And then when you took the coin, then what did he say to them? Whose image is on it? And then they say, oh, it's Caesar's image. They say, so give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And give to God what is God. What is the coin? The coin to be a legal tender has to have an image. A coin to be, if you see a coin that one of the Faces gone off. Will they collect it from you? It must have that image. And then there was this coin that was in the house, but the coin was lost. The coin was lost, but it still had the image. The coin had an image, but it was lost in the house. And it resonated also with what Pastor was preaching and what he has been preaching over some time. You see, for you to be a trendsetter, be a trailblazer, it's beyond just being saved. Because if you are saved, you are in the house. Or you can be in the house and you can be lost. You can be in the house. You are in the house, all right. You are saved. You are one of us. We know you. You come on Fridays, you come on Sunday. But you are lost because you are not fulfilling purpose. But that coin had to be found. And what's the first thing that needs to be found is your identity. And that's what Pastor has been preaching. He has been saying over the months at least that I've been listening. Who exactly are you? Whose image are you bearing? You recall where we started from today, Genesis chapter 5. That this is the genealogy of Adam, who was in the image or in the likeness of God. So first realize whose image you are bearing. That you are bearing the image of God. That that's who you are. So that's who you are. You carry the image of God and that's what you represent. So that's part one. But then the second part is, are you now lost? Do you know what your purpose is? Do you know what mountain you're supposed to be functioning on? Do you know where you're supposed to be leading? Like Pastor said. Because you cannot be a follower in everything. There must be something you're leading. And how did we find the coin? It says the woman lit a candle. She swept the house and cleaned it and searched diligently for it. 
and then she found it. So there is no shadow is not going to light up. There is no wall is not going to break down. Yeah. There is no distance is not going to go. Yeah. Just to find you. Just to make you find purpose. And so as we hear these words, be diligent about it. Be diligent about it. And realize that as they are sweeping, as the sweeping is happening, when you sweep a place that is dusty, what's going to happen? Everywhere will be dusty. And so like we were saying, when you are like Joseph, you are going to get into some difficult situation. It looks like everywhere is dusty. You can't see what is the sweeping that is happening. Just keep your eyes on the goal. Keep your eyes on the focus. Keep your eyes on where we are going. Don't be distracted by the inconvenience of the dust. Because when the dust settles, we win. Amen. When the dust settles, we win. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. And the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. And I will still be here. I will be here. I mean, by God's grace, I will be here more frequently. Amen. And great things are going to happen. Amen. I'm very sure of that. Thank, Thank you, you, man you, sir. Of God. I'm Let's celebrate, God. my friend. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. I mean, it's always a thing of joy to see a friend. Did you hear what he said? Oh, we are shouting, I thought he's in Canada. I didn't know he's flying to Nigeria. He didn't even give me any premonition at all that I am coming in. I came, I turned, I look, I said, is he not who I'm seeing? I want to be sure. Thank you so much for coming. I have another friend who came. Uh, don't worry, I will unveil him. I will unveil him when the time comes. So two of my friends came today. They just surprised me. It gives encouragement that people... I didn't even know, sir, that you listen to what we are doing here. We are raised by the same father. So, the first time I know he's a true friend was when my father passed on. That you have to come all the way to the village. Do you remember? You forgot it. He, he came, he was putting black and black. I still remember the clothes. Because we were together the day my pastor, my dad passed away. We were in Moa for the conference and then the call came. So the relationship has been there. Amen? Amen. Shall we lift our hands to heaven and thank the Lord for all that he has done for us today? Thank God for harvest of soul, those who are coming here for the first time. Shall we pray that everyone that is here today, that the blessings of the Lord will rest upon them, their feet are planted. The enemy will not snatch them away. In the name of Jesus, they will become part of the barrier breaker. Those who have been here that we are not seeing consistently, we ask the blessings of the Lord to bring them back. Let every burden on their shoulder be lifted. And let Christ be exalted in the name of Jesus. I pray for supernatural testimonies upon everyone. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, and people shout the loudest, Amen. Are you blessed? Good to see you. Good to be back. To be back in the house. I hope the project is over. Waiting for my own allocation. You go and show me my own flat so that uh, you can't sell all those houses without giving me one of my own. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Let's take the benediction together. One, two, three, go. You are speaking in tongue. I am the true ambassador. Okay, you are still speaking in tongue. I want to hear you. One, two, three, go. Again. Finally. Amen. All the choir, media, and the workforce. If you are in the workforce platform, so you are in the workforce, don't be in a haste to go. I will see you people shortly before you go. But I will see the first time as first before seeing every other person. God bless you. He is the strength, strength of my life. He is everything I own.
glorify, glorify His name. Where everybody say, He is the strength, strength of my life. He is everything I am. Glorify, glorify His name. Praise for Jesus. He is the strength, strength of my life. He is everything I am. Glorify, 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 glorify His name. He's the strength, He's the strength, strength of my life. He's everything I own. Glorify, glorify. Say one, two, three, say 